call the meeting to order for the Carver Conservation Commission for September 1st, 2021. Can we please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Can we also have a quick moment of silence for Afghanistan? Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Al. I'm Alan Germain. Savory Moore, our chairman, is in Maine tonight, and as vice chair, um, I'm taking over the duties as chairman. That being said, order of business. Lot 201A Tremont Street, the wall, I understand, is going to be continued for two weeks. Yeah. It'll be on the 15th. It'll be on for the 15th of September. <laughs> Was anybody here for that? You were? For the we were there today in... 201 Tremont? 15th? That's the 15th. Yeah. Who's Sorry. Is that on... <clears throat> Next item is the Scout Project. This must be for the Badger Bridge stuff on the coal property? Uh, no. <laughs> separate, separate stuff. It's, it's, it's my pleasure um, to introduce the Boy Scouts that have done the work on the coal property. We got some pictures from Dan a little while ago, and I'm going to give this to Dan, because Dan knows you guys. Come on up, have a seat have it at either table, wherever you can reach a microphone. And you Don't be shy. Alan, you can read the letter that I wrote. I will get to the letter. Okay. So, um, I'd like to thank the committee for inviting uh, Barrett Olympia and Jay Peters um, to recognize them for their work on the coal property. Um, they've been um, conducting their own. Um, separate eagle projects on the coal property but in the same collective area to enhance the, the orange trail section of the coal property. Um, one project that has uh, come to completion uh, to which uh, Barrett Olympia has actually received his eagle uh, award, congratulations on that sir, um, is for the, um, the repair and um, um, reconstruction of the Orange Trail Loop. Um, in the process of both repairing and cleaning up debris, um, Barrett uh, actually repurposed that material to create uh, rabbit habitats, uh, five of them um, spread out throughout the, the loop, otherwise known as rabbitats. And, um, uh, it was a very successful project, uh, not only for the work that was done, but for the uh, the um, volunteers that he was able to get in to help to actually make it a, uh, a true community project. So uh, I wanted to congratulate him on his efforts there, uh, as well as his, his family, who was a big part of the project as well. Uh, Jay Peters is... Um, been working on a, an extensive project that actually is the construction of a bridge uh, to span a 25 some odd foot uh, gap of a brook uh, making the bridge span roughly 33 feet um, in distance. Uh, all materials because it is uh, a conservation property were brought in by hand um, by Pretty much everybody within the troop and actually some younger Cub Scouts as well helped uh, in physically transporting all the materials on site, which was roughly a mile in. By hand? By hand. And, uh, Who made the, you do that? Uh, that would be uh, his Did coach. Did you make them do that? <laughs> <laughs> rules are rules. You know, if by I, hand? Yeah. What did you carry in a month? I, I carried just as many as everyone else. Okay, I feel yeah. better now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, again, this uh, to which the, the bridge beams were assembled, uh, they've been um, uh, installed, um, and uh, actually the treads for the actual bridge um, is, is underway now. So we're, 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 there's light at the end of the tunnel or at the end of this bridge um, coming very soon. And... Um, 
just uh, due to logistics and time with uh, people being able to take time with work has really been the only thing keeping it from getting wrapped up, but should be wrapped up, I would say, within before uh, before the end of September, um, if not sooner. We should do a uh, we should do a visit. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Nice. Include the select board. Yeah. Nice field yeah, trip. We'll you know. It, yeah. yeah. Why not? Definitely. Yeah. That'd be a great yeah. idea. So, in the meantime, um, for those listening and for those who want to see the progress of the of these, you can either go on to Facebook for uh, the uh, Troop Forty Eight. Um, has its own Facebook page, and the Carver Trail and Stewart's group has uh, also been uh, documenting um, uh, progress on both projects, um, just to keep the public aware of, of these gen this gentleman, both gentlemen's efforts. And uh, that's really all I have to say about that. Is there anything you guys wanted to to mention, or have I covered? Yeah, pretty covered. Okay. <laughs> So I have a question. Was it a lot more than you thought it was going to be when you had the conceptual idea in your head? A lot more. <laughs> so the, the lesson learned is that sometimes things are not as easy as they look on a piece of paper. Exactly. That's a great lesson to learn, by the way. And you had a good coach. Thank I you. offered to use some equipment, but he wouldn't hear of it. That's why I said, you know, did you really bring it in there? Uh, Jay didn't want any of that. <laughs> Jay would have loved it. Dan didn't want to say that. They're young, they'll recover. Making mem we're making memories. That's, what, that's what's happening there. They really earned it. They did. Congratulations. We have a letter um, that will go out to both of you. I'm just going to read it for the audience. Uh, it says, Dear Barrett and Jay, the Carver Conservation Commission would like to thank you for your help with the ongoing improvements you are conducting on the coal property. Barrett, for your work on the cleanup, maintenance, and repurposing of the Orange Trail and the creation of the habitat of the rabbitats. I'm not used to that word, so I had to look at it. <laughs> rabbitats throughout the property. And Jay, for your hard work on the construction of the boardwalk that crosses the brook to allow improved access to the Orange Trail. The Commission is very grateful for everything you and the other scouts are doing and have done. And it's so nice to see when people truly appreciate the environment. The coal property is a special and unique place for residents of Carver, and again, thank you so much. And that's from the entire Conservation Commission, signed by Brooke. You guys will get copies of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have anyone for um, 368 Tremont? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, oh. yeah. <clears throat> whichever you would like to take, whichever table is easiest for you, we need you to sign in, please, if you would, on the sign in sheet. That's not this one though. This is this yeah. one. This is the small one. This, this. Oh no, that's a, no, that's not the big one. Though. It's the small one. This is just a formal discussion. That's the end, right? Yeah, it's a small plant. I know. Luckily, it's got a big one. <laughs> Luckily, it's a big one. It was blind people. We've had comments about this size piece of paper before. Yeah, it's good thing you brought a bigger plant because we can't see this teeny weeny one. <laughs> Can you be so kind as to introduce yourself and then let us know what you got? Sure. So my name is Randy Gavin. I'm with ZF Consulting Engineers, um, representing our client uh, on this potential project. And essentially, I have two concept plans for the commission to look at. And what we're really looking for today is uh, sort of a preference as to which direction we should pursue when we do submit. Uh, for our permits. Um, so this this lot is known as Lot 2. is a portion of 366 Tremont Street. Um, and what we're looking to do is essentially, so we have 366 Tremont Street here. Uh, they're going to cut, cut a lot out for the house that's there. And the remaining parcel would be for a new uh, house lot. Um, and just to make the commission aware, uh, the client doesn't tend to apply for a special permit for a duplex for this lot. This is the last house on Tremont before you cross into Wareham? 
I believe so, yes. The one that sits right out front almost in the street and they were doing some work out back. We were yeah, there like we, a year or two ago, there was a road going go all the way out back. Yeah, did you go in with Yeah, them? well, I went, I went there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did it just so, to see, you know, right. what, what they were talking so about. Now I have it in my head as to where its location is. Okay, and I went probably. out with Jamie a little while after that. Okay, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay, so 366, 366 <coughs> Tremont is here. Um, we'd be looking to build the duplex out on this high area out in the back here and essentially we, we have two different options as to how to reach this, this spot. Um, the first would be, which is what you're looking at now, um, is to utilize an existing uh, cart path that runs uh, sort of through the wetlands although, although the cart path itself is, out, is uh, upland. Um, so that would be, it would run along the cart path and then along the rear property line <coughs> Sort of avoiding all the main uh, parts of the of the existing wetlands, um, and then back up and around to the high point here. Um, we'd be disturbing just under uh, now. Again, this is a concept. We don't know the final numbers, but just the way this is drawn now, we'd be disturbing a, just under 500 square feet of actual wetlands, as well as 15,000 square feet of the 65 foot buffer, and just under 18,000 of the 100 foot buffer. Um, because this, essentially we have wetlands on both sides of this mm. existing path all the way around. Mm. Um, so again, we'd be disturbing less wetland area, but a much greater uh, buffer zone impact. Mm. Which brings me to option two, <coughs> where we would follow along the, the new property line and then just cut across this almost pinch point in the wetland. Um, this would disturb approximately 900 square feet um, of wetland area, uh, but a vast uh, reduction in the actual buffer zone, which is about uh, just under 7,000 of the 65 foot and 11, just over 11,000 of the 100 foot. And again, same idea, just the duplex up on the high area uh, with septic and well. Uh, we, we, we did show some conceptual grading in here. This is obviously not finalized. Uh, we haven't designed the actual crossing yet. Um, again, we're just trying to get some feedback from the commission before we move forward with a, with a fully fleshed out plan. Just a quick question. Um, the disturbance in the 65, that's basically just for the roadway, that's not the house and not... Correct, no, the, the house... The house and septic is completely out of the 100 foot buffer zone. Yeah. So I, I guess my question would be, if you went with plan A, yep. the eventual owner of that piece of property would somehow find a way to turn that driveway into plan B. Because if I bought that piece of land, <laughs> The last thing I'd want to do is drive an extra half a mile to get to the house when I can cut, especially when you can come down the driveway and look at the house, but no, you can't get there from here. Right, you'd, be, so, you'd actually be driving all the way, almost I'm, circumventing I'm, the entire... I'm simply throwing yeah. a, an idea out, that's all. It, it, what I'm thinking would be eventual, mm -hmm. the end result. Right, you might end up seeing the same plan again. <laughs> so, have, so I do have to say, when Jamie and I did go out, we saw you know where about where they would cross and there is a little there is an area where it gets to be fairly narrow so the crossing wouldn't be a big expanse of so you're talking like a culvert if you did it that way most likely uh, a culvert or two um, underneath the road in right, a culvert that, that we've certainly allowed in the past or on, on a bog yeah. road yeah. so um, dan i'm thinking well, <clears throat> obviously this is very early on we can't do anything yeah. off of this right. so. no i mean no. And I appreciate you considering both options. Uh, you know, if you have an option that's going to uh, create less impact, um, I'm I'm going to always defer to that. I guess eventually we'll see plans that have. Uh, uh, I will say that you're you're familiar with our the town bylaws in terms of the no Correct. touch no touch zones sure. and so yep. forth. So as long as you're you're uh, 
keep yourself beholden to that. I don't think you'll run into a whole <coughs> roadblocks from us. No, I would hope the next plan will is, is marked with the colors the way that we require. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I think what he's trying to get is, yeah. is should they develop plan A or should they develop plan B and let's where we're going to put the money into. Right. Right. Um, and, I, and I don't know that I have a problem with them coming before and asking that question. That, and like yeah. I said, I think that Plan A looks more, more logical. Split, well, this I think is plan. This is plan B. This plan is plan B. B. I like the other one. The first one was plan going B. all the way. We around. like plan B. Yeah. <laughs> I think plan B is is only from a logical standpoint because I think ultimately, again, I go back to somewhere along the line that's going to be the access. If right. we do it the other way, that's still going to wind up being an access Someday. road when no one's sure. looking. Jim. No. I, I agree. I think that plan B is uh, definitely uh, mm. uh, desirable as far as uh, efficiency mm. and so on. I, I, just, I think it's also the least invasive. Yes, yeah. definitely. And it's, like, God forbid they have snow. Can you imagine trying to uh, plow? Yeah, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> and that's you could be thing. trapped. And, and they would Fire be, engine needs to get in there. They would be required right. to do you know, replication for the amount of uh, yeah. well that they yeah. they yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. We would, we would provide all that on the final yeah. plan. But there's plenty of room for that. Yeah, plan B seems yeah. But the integrity of the owner of the property is yeah. a proper approach. Right. So I don't That's have important. any issue with that at all. As far yeah. as I'm concerned, I, I have yeah. nothing but high regard um, and, and, and trust. Oh, you know? Yeah. Oh. So I, I think that, you know, I don't see this as being a, an issue. Mm -hmm. I, there are some people here, yeah, though, in the, in the audience. I'm, I'm assuming <clears throat> that um, in a butter would like to speak. I'm the owner. Oh. I thought it was Gary Garrettson's project. I'm sorry. Oh, no, Gary's next to it. These guys are Kendrick's. They were 366. You, want, you can come up and sit up. You can come on up. Oh, yeah. uh, sign so I, I take it that you are in favor of this project? No. No. no you're, not. you're not in favor of this Not at all. Project. Let me just no. explain. They own 366. This is actually 368. You own the house out front? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, this just got interesting. Please sign in, please. They did. They oh, did. good. Excellent. So okay, I'm sorry. No. Uh, I'm not at all in favor. In fact, I researched this project and, and, and I looked at that project myself. And uh, I was told that the only way I could do that project is if I shared my driveway with, 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 with but I was going to build back there myself. And I was told that the only way that I could have the use the road is if I used my present driveway and shared the present driveway to get back there. Who told you that? I'm sorry, I'm I'm very confused then. Who owns the land you're trying to put I house own on? all of the land well, we're so talking far. about. You haven't today. sold it to him yet? President. Our client, I guess, is, it's under agreement. I, I, I guess not, it hasn't been, hasn't been it's sold under yet. Agreement. It's under It's under agreement. It's under agreement. Okay. It's it's under agreement. That, that you, you had to follow. Okay. You I would sorry, have sorry talked to Brooke. <laughs> I'm trying to understand. And the, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I talked to Brooke and the Conservation Commission, and they said that I could share the driveway oh, if I wanted to. Two. Those were the words that I was told. But the drive, the driver from where your house is, but that's yes. on the front. This and is that was the only there. way right. that I was I'm going confused. to be able to use that drive, that road that. back there, and that there was no other way that I was going to be able to access the road out there by the bridge. Did you come before the commission with this question? No, no I didn't. No. I think well, I think what I meant was if you that you would have to use that existing road. I would have to use the existing driveway. Was what I was. The told. mouth of our driveway. That I would well, you, you, you wouldn't have another curb cut. Right. Yes. Oh. Right. They wouldn't get another yeah, curb. That's what that we understood. Right. That, that was what I was told. Planning board then. Yeah. Planning board would have. Then I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm baffled. You because can, yeah, because yeah, one one thing, if if this road, see if, I, if we have a, if we get a new drive, if they allow a new driveway there, I have a 24 foot driveway, this wide, 24 foot driveway okay. there. If you allow another driveway beside mine, there's going to be a 34 foot cut beside off. Coming down, this is the bridge. Then there's going to be a 34-foot cut. And 
he Would you have to go to planning? For it's going to be well, very well, dangerous. It's not that he has We're to going to go through planning uh, okay, for so a special they permit. the driveway part. We wouldn't do that that part because it's not really the... I mean, during the, any um, I think proceedings that I, I could make comments. On your plan, could you just point to where that brook is just south of the property? The, 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 the bridge oh, that, right that's there. right here. It's the, the bridge. The, the, right. The or town the of property, Carver right? is marked off. But, but I believe it does. Right. Welcome to Carver. The right. bridge is right that's there. That's what I thought. Then the, and so these driveways are, are going to be literally touching one another. And that lot it, has it's frontage going, it's up near It's extremely Barry's difficult to get out of my driveway as it is now. It's going to be dangerous. <laughs> on, dangerous now. I guess uh, I'm still completely confused here. <laughs> this gentleman still owns this entire yeah. piece of yes, property. Yes, sir. Yes. And it's under agreement. Correct. Yes. Contingent upon you getting approvals to do this. Yes. I believe and so. And he's yes. arguing that he does not want you to get approvals. I do not. I don't. Not for that driveway. I don't want his access. driveway. Not for that access. We I, haven't. This, 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 this is. I want. Give him the map. This, this, lose this is. This is 150 feet for him to he's up on around. No, I get it. I'm just trying to figure out. Yes. He, I'm, he has, I'm, I'm new to this project too. <laughs> <laughs> he has 300 feet of frontage it's on 58 up the hill. There's plenty of frontage for him to, to access this. He doesn't have any frontage somewhere else. On the, on the well, he'd have there. to come in. Give them a map. Way up. Give it, yeah, somewhere else. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of frontage for him to access this thing okay. somewhere else. This is our house. And yeah. our this is why right this is yeah. unnecessary this is for him to come house. in here on, on top of the bridge. And, and I can't see him stopping school buses up there on the bridge in the middle of the winter. It's dangerous. The other thing is, is he's talking about duplex. Oh, I believe that. I have a, it's, uh, I have on, he's under contract with me to build a single family dwelling. No duplex. So single family dwelling. Wetlands area. That's what I have. I think we need a real estate agent. It says I have, I'll, I have the contract with me it, right here. Is there room here for a driver? I uh, I don't dispute I don't dispute anything that you say. I, I understand it, but I have the contract I'm not familiar with the contract. Contract. single family oh, dwelling. No duplex. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Or she's saying this is this is yeah. their house. Yeah. This is their right. driver. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, this is the lot he wants to build on. Yeah. Right. But then he's got 300 feet of space. Basically, just split out the lots. So it's totally unnecessary. It turns to come in there. It's good to create frontage. Yeah. Single family. Yeah. You go over here, we're out of the. What's, what's up there? What's up there? What's all this? It's all frontage. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm going to take this back to them and then tell them what the commission. So that plan C. That would be plan C. Plan C. <laughs> that, that's what this discussion was about. What, what, what's the preference that way when we yeah. do come in front of you guys? That worked for you. Yeah. Are you okay with that everything? But we that worked for you. Know so you know what's happening. That'd be great. And that's you all have our clients. Yes. Yes. Do what we can. We'll let you know. <laughs> and that's the plan. You know, it's always. Yeah. We've we've gotten to yeah. a point yeah. now where yeah. we become the. The referees on some on some cases, and it's really not our job, and we shouldn't have to do that. So if we can find a way to make everybody happy, accomplish the same stuff, and everybody walks out of the room feeling good about it, then that's, in my view, we've done a good job. I agree. About two thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Good. Great. All right. Thank you, uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. So, Alan, the location of that driver that would be. Uh, planning. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's not. So here's what you're going to do. Right. Come in. Come right way over here. Right. So cut right in here and make this this driveway that's already shut down. Yeah. Make it more very worse. We're going to be giving some relief for it. Yeah. But in order to get that, that's planned. Right. So I mean, he's got to. They have to go in here. They have to have a special room. Yeah. Well, it's not our problem. <laughs> so it's going to go to planning. And I just couldn't get my head wrapped around. He owns it. And he's it? arguing against it. I know. It's like, do well, you want was, to sell the land or not? It's a, both things without displaying favoritism. Okay, I needed to. It wasn't coming clear. Well, there goes your sale. <laughs> Okay. So, All right. Right. Do so we, that to, to be continued. Looks yeah. like you're going to keep the land. Um, you want to do the um, anorad and then we'll just read yeah. the minutes? Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So I think she's here I for, seven 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 for a 7 o'clock. So we should. Yeah. Are they, you're here for the anorad? Yes, yeah. I am. For Zero Ward Street, Anored DPSE 126-627, notices hereby given in accordance with the Massachusetts Wetland Protection Act, MGL Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Carver Wetlands Protection Bylaw, that a public hearing will be held at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, September 1, 2021, in Meeting Room 1 at Carver Town Hall, to hear the abbreviated Notice of Resource Area Deline Delineation, Anored, submitted on behalf of Edward Boggs, LLC. The applicant is requesting under the ANARAD confirmation of the wetland resource area on the property. The project is located at 0 Ward Street, Carver, Mass, Map 115, Lot 10-2B and 16. All interested parties are invited to attend. We were out there today. And you guys all know Lenore, she's done some work for us. Yes, thank you. Lenore White with Wetland Strategies. I'm a wetland scientist and I filed the ANRAD on behalf of Matt Rhodes, who is Edward Bogg. And he needs the ANRAD because, um, I, as I understand it, he needs to go before planning board to um, so cut the out the lots. The retreat lot? The retreat the lot, place. right. So he subdivided up this property into um, four or five different properties. They're labeled A through E. And the one we're interested in is lot 1A, which is the, um, the one that's um, going to have access from Ward Street. Um, we did the f uh, wetland delineation on the whole parcel, though, just because we weren't sure what the planning board would require. So essentially, there's a couple different resource areas out on the site. We have a, um, a perennial stream that crosses the road up at Ward Street and that's surrounded by a little bit of a BVW. Um, and then beyond that, that, and that's a perennial stream, so there is, of course, a 200 River fr front area with that. And then there are several isolated areas on the site as well. I think there are three of them. Um, one of them is associated with a little um, detention pond, and the other two really appear to be just kind of um, areas that got dug out for some reason over the course of time and have now, um, you know, been vegetated with some wetland plants. I'm not sure whether those isolated areas would be jurisdictional under the bylaw. They certainly are too small to be isolated land subject to flooding under the Wetlands Protection Act, but um, we decided to flag them and put them on the plan just so that there was no, you know, attempt to, you know, not identify any of the wetlands on the property there. So essentially we're looking for an order of resource area delineation which confirms the boundaries. And again, we have a stream, a perennial stream, we have BVW, and then these smaller isolated land that um, may or may not be jurisdictional under the Carver Wetlands Bylaw. 
And then the bogs, of course. But. The bogs are there. And I don't know if you saw the, I don't know when you guys were out there, the bogs, there's a sign out there that says conservation areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I assume they were already sort of, you know, identified as wetland resource areas. I think they were because it seems to me that off of Pond Street, before you turn on to Ward, okay. off of South Meadow, before you turn on to Ward, there's that little, the, the front of the bogs, you can go on that side road. Right. And we had approved a house farther in on that road on the right. On Pond Street? On whatever road that is. I don't know if that, I think it would be actually, it'd be off Pond, but it was a bog road, and it was, I remember going to that when I first got on this board. Wasn't that the one we just visited and looked at? Yeah. No, that uh, Eugene Cobbs? Yeah. That was Meadows. That was Meadows. Wasn't it? Where we were last week? Or the week before? Yeah. South Meadows. South Meadows. Eugene Cobbs? No, I didn't go there. Oh, maybe it was that. Maybe you were right, if you came out of that driveway and took a right, you would go back into Ward Street. You could make a big, almost oh, a loop. All right. But it was down the it was down the right side of that access road. Yeah, I so think I, I drove. We were in there. I think that's where those signs came from at that time. I drove down that road. Yeah, initially, and I also have the abutters um, notification and the public notice. And just to let you know, I didn't receive any phone calls um, from any abutters. Yeah. Groups. You know, I didn't. Okay. The name, you know, the, the number given that no one has called about the work. There's no work proposed. I made that clear in the filing, so yeah. right. maybe that's the only why. The question I had was there were three addresses we had you write down today. You get them? Oh, the, the Papa, you, because we weren't sure at first we could write it. make sure we just... uh, Yeah, House 1315 and 17. So I 13, think 15, these 17, lots. Ward Street, so I'm it, assuming. These are three lots we, here. We didn't meet anybody there, yeah. so we would want to be sure yeah. that we were at the right place. Because this was all behind all of those. Yes, it is all behind those. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. But I found the, um, you know, found the we, We found the flat yeah. after we rode around for a little bit. Yeah. Right down yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a nice little tour. Yeah, yeah, it's a big site. 13. Yeah, right here, 13. Richard right. Madrum. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. the neighbor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's my son's. Uh, my because of course we like. And then we got so, the ride. My son, that that's his. Uh, so, yeah. That's his music that teacher. When I saw the name, I said, "That's my son's music teacher." I didn't know he lived in Carver. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Madrew. Yeah. So there's no work proposed. It's just a matter of confirming the wetland right. resource areas. Yeah. So you think if it is to do anything, it would be out in the back anyway? It's Probably, to yeah. I mean, I don't know what he has planned. You know, this was really through the surveyor that they said, well, we got to get these wetlands confirmed, right. you know, because we, we're going to go before planning board. That, yeah. Right. So I don't know. I haven't seen any plans. I certainly haven't talked to Matt about any plans that he does have. This was just really a precursor to going before the planning board to get this subject division, yeah. you know, subdivision of land approved. Does he have a, a time to go with that? I think I asked Jim Walsh about it and he was kind of close. But yeah, I don't know. And I apologize for being yeah. a few minutes late. I'm coming back from Maine and <laughs> I thought I had the plans. I don't <laughs> One of those days. One of those days. Who are you? Lenore White. Lenore White. Yes. Lenore? I think so. That was a long yeah, time she, ago. Done, she did consulting for us out of Edenville. Yeah. 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 yeah, but I've been yeah. before the board. There was a different makeup back then. You were on the board, though, Jim. Jim's been on the board since the Mayflower came to Plymouth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, before. <laughs> Her hair was a different color. Yeah. This, this, this is pandemic well, you're gray now. You're making friends all over the place today. You know that? We're <laughs> friends with uh, it's, it's gray. I decided that's it. I'm done with the... Oh, there'll be a bald thing coming up. Don't worry. Okay. You're not going to be alone. Well, here. okay. I'm, 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 to look I'm, 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 I'm not sure I'm about ready. about be it before the meeting started, so I don't know. I'll take a motion on the um, Zero Ward Street for anyone that so is inclined.
Shall yeah. we? Okay. Yeah, great. I'll so move. We're waiting for we, you, Jim. We uh, approve the uh, NRAD application. As submitted by um. <laughs> Wetland Strategies. Wetland Strategies. <laughs> the DEP number. Just make, a, just make a second, and I'll give you, I'll give her the wording. Okay. I'll second. The motion is made and seconded to approve the NRAD for Zero Ward Street, DEP SE 126-627, as drawn on the plan, dated July 29th. Sounds good to me. 2021. Is that right? July 29th, 2021. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and we'll sign this copy. Yes. So that's been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Four to zero, it's carried. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Well. Yes. Thank you for waiting. Oh, yeah. I'm hey, thank you for waiting. <laughs> Lenore, did you, did you work on the coal property? For I did. She yeah, did wait, wait. yeah, and then she did the ones on Edenville. Yeah. I mean, the boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I, I did one. It was um, beginning to remember. Oh, yeah, yeah the coal um, property. That was huge. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you flagged a lot of that, didn't you? Pardon me? Didn't you do the Flag. delineation? No. Um, uh, someone else did the delineation, but we did the review work for the town of Carver. I was working for Nova Armstrong at the time. Right. And right. we reviewed. It must have been over a thousand flat. I mean, you know, yeah. it's 200 yeah. and some yeah. 80 acres or something. Right. So. I think the person from Audubon mentioned that they had Yeah, so Sarah was still, was still there. there. Yeah. 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 And we had John Rockwell go out. Well, All righty. Thank you very much, folks. Thank, thank you. you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Laura. All right. Uh, I, I, I know this is good. <laughs> okay, signature. Sign on this uh, underneath us and on the second page. Oh, oh, okay. We pass that over to David. Mm -hmm. Continued hearing 287 Tremont Street has been continued uh, again. To October 6th. Yeah. October. I put oh, that October. on the next. Yeah, I put that on the, the next agenda. Uh, yeah. But they want to go to later meetings. They want to wait until the plan is all done, and they're going to plan on the 28th. Okay. So the plan will be done, and then you'll we'll be able to know what they're going to say. Okay. And while we're doing that, we we'll look over the minutes, and we'll take the minutes next. Just a few spots. Just got a minute. Thanks, boss. <laughs> Savory asked to have um, something updated on John's Pond, Ashley. Okay, okay five John's Pond. Oh, he yeah. actually called me um, yesterday. I called him back and didn't talk to him. It was Tony uh, Lombardo. And he was he had a question. I think he's trying to fill out some of those in pen. He had a question. I, I didn't hear back from him. But you know, according to him last time, you know, at the board he had the plan almost ready. Mm -hmm. But after all those other issues came up after Tremont Street, you know, with the wall and well, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Because we're telling Danny Warren you gotta remove the wall. This guy's wall was also a timber wall and it's now a huge concrete wall. And there were before and after pictures. Mm -hmm. So if you could just make some kind of a reference in there. Yeah. And you um, were supposed to get evidence as to what was there before. Right? Yes he was, yeah. but yes, pictures this was this produced. was during this part of that hearing where um, the butter showed us a picture of all sand. All sand and then a picture of an excavator. Okay, so you just wanted to note that the abutter showed us. The abutter showed us what, what appeared to be um, two photos of, of repair work or reconstruction, and we're waiting for more information on that. But I'd yeah. like to have the, the, the um, pictures entered into yeah. the record. Yeah, because Tony, yeah, you're right. The Tony was supposed to you know, show us that. Yeah. So. so, when everybody's ready, I'll take a motion on the minutes as amended. Okay, I shall move that we accept the minutes of August 18th as amended. Second. Motion is made and seconded to accept the minutes of August 18th. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried four to zero. Easy 
I think that's it. Yep, next meeting, mm -hmm. September 15th. There would be a motion to adjourn. 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 <laughs> second. Motion made and seconded to adjourn. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Good night. Thank you. <laughs>